you guys have not missed me too much, um, but I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Um, but if you don't know who I am and you've never been to my channel before, I'm Zaire, and um, I make cool vlogs and I do really fun content just about my life and lifestyle, fashion, skincare, the whole full nine. Um, and today's video is a so it's Wednesday the 12th, June 12th, um, and I have a kind of simple day ahead of me, but I just wanted to vlog today because I haven't done a day in my life during the week in a while. So yes, it's been the day in my life with me. So I just gotta brush my teeth, in my bed, all that kind of good stuff. Let's do my skincare because Lindsay and I are catching a train together, um, so I'm gonna be on time. So. Let's do that. So if you saw like a TikTok of mine about a month ago, um, I was gifted some products from Good Molecules that I've been using. It was about a month ago, but I think I started using them like two to three weeks ago. Um, so I just want to take you through my updated skincare routine and like some new products I've been using. I was using this toner, this toner prior to being gifted to me, but I'm still using this same toner. I'm actually obsessed with it. I feel like all toners do me well, but everyone should have a toner in their skincare routine because that is the key to evening out your skin. I'm telling you, like my skin, even, excuse me, even though my skin is not fully one shade where I want it to be, it is one like, feel shade. Oh, I wish I knew the right words to use, but everyone should get a toner. And if you're looking for a toner, this Good Molecules Brightening Toner definitely does the job. Like, it illuminates my skin, and I definitely feel like it brightens me up. Even though I don't typically look dull in my skin, but, you know, it definitely brightens me up in the sense. Okay, next I go in with my Discoloration Coloring Serum. I've been using this, like I said, for about going on three weeks consistent now. I'm really excited to be like my one month marker period and just see like the kind of difference it does for my hyperpigmentation. I've already shared um, about that, like how that is a big kind of area that I'm trying to work on on my skin. That's actually probably the only area of like skin I'm trying to work on. Everything else is fine. Um, so yeah, I just put it on my cheeks. I do like just like a, like this, that kind of amount. I don't go like too crazy. I do put it on my forehead too, because I kind of want my forehead to color to be balanced out. Um, yeah. So I go in. And I simply, you know, just massage it in. Let her do her thing. And it ends up, I end up just like putting it all over my face because my thought process is if I put this all over my face, it'll even my face out color wise completely. Hopefully that theory works. <laughs> Next, I go in, y'all know this, my little snail. Um, use some power essence. Um, I'm actually like running a little bit low. I plan on going to Ulta today after work, so but I'm going to Ulta to pick up a skin tint, the Anastasia skin tint, um, because I'm going to New York next weekend and I do not want to wear foundation. It's gonna be hot as hell in New York, um, but I do want to wear makeup, of course. I just don't want to wear my Fenty foundation because that joy is going to literally leak off and, excuse me, loud leak off, sweat off. And I'm just like, I'm not in the mood for it. So yeah, but if it's in the budget, I might pick up the Mucinic Essence. I've switched up my moisturizer. I, you know, now use theirs. Okay, the focus is just like not working. But it's a lightweight daily moisturizer. I did not think I was gonna like a new moisturizer because y'all know I love my Cetaphil oil-free, you know, moisturizer. I know that's my girl. 
but she's lightweight. I, cause y'all know I be sweating and y'all know I be complaining that like the moisturizer is just sweating all over her. No, she's actually like lightweight as heck. Like she feels great. And then I just like, I seal her in with whatever uh, sunscreen I have. And I'm telling you, my face does not sweat through the day. Cause I was a little nervous at first trying her out, but she's all right. Um, and the sunscreen I've been using consistently is my black girl sunscreen. My mom picked me up a new one um, like a month ago. So I just been rocking high up. I love this sunscreen. I want another one to use for my body. I just use that one for my face. But uh, I need a sunscreen for my body because I don't have one. Actually, with just like a lotion that um, has sunscreen included in it. Um, yeah. Skin is looking great. Yeah. Okay, so I got my hair relaxed yesterday, so she is fresh as hell. Um, I wrapped her. I know I'm gonna have to, you know, bring out my straightening brush because I know she probably got a little bit in her. Um, y'all, y'all. Yesterday was rough at my appointment because I took out my sewing on Monday. My appointment was Tuesday. Of course, you know, when you take out your sewing, you have like hella build up, just hella dirt. So of course I had to wash my hair. Did you know you were not supposed to shampoo your hair the day before you get a relax, or like in like a in a quick turnaround span of when you get a relaxer? I did not know that because my head was on fire yesterday during the appointment. Will you? I actually shed a tear yesterday, and I probably have burns in my fucking scalp. No funny. Um. Because, bruh, I didn't know that. Like, I would've took out my hair over the weekend of that, or like Sunday at least. But I literally didn't even book my appointment till Monday, so, eh. Oh, my hair looks brown as hell right now. Yeah, I know I probably have some scabs, so my, my scalp is gonna have to heal. But let's take her down and, uh, Okay, she is good. She, he had to trim a bit off yesterday, which is not a problem. I mean, my hair is still show driven, so that's good. But um, she's, yeah, she's growing. She's looking good. Um, I went through with the brush, but I'll be honest, my hair, my head has to heal. Like, it still is very tender right now. So, it may not look the straightest, but... She is good. She's good. But let's get dressed because time is moving and I want to be on time today. So I'll show you all my outfit in just a second. Hey guys, we have a really cute fit today. Um, sweater vest is from Target. White collared shirt underneath from Shein. Black pleated skirt from ASOS. And I'm going to put my black scrunchy socks on and my loafers. So, yeah, I really cute fit today. Definitely giving, I like how I tucked this in. But of course it's giving my typical party vibe. So yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and make my lunch and be on my way out the door because it's almost time to be on my way. Um, but I'll check in with you guys a little later in the morning. Hey guys, so I'm in the office. I already got my work sweater on because the air be on freaking 60 degrees in here. I don't know what that's about, but hey. Um, but I'm about to go ahead and make some tea, get my day started. I hope it's not too busy of a day because 
I'm just slapping. That is weird, but it's gonna be a good day. Um, I was able to pack my lunch. I did not pack like a lot of snacks, but I did pack a lunch and a salad. So I'll probably check back in around lunchtime. Um, I have a tour shop today. That was not as bad as my ginger shot. Ginger shot almost took me out. I definitely did not like it. That was good. Hey guys, so I can't even lie, today has been busy as hell. Um, but actually good because we have our intern office and he's been taking a load off of my load. So shout out to him. I'm about to eat lunch now. This is my lunch. I my salad and my pasta. Lindsay and I made pasta last week, so I have a bunch of leftover pasta that I will be eating. And I need to be eating. So, yeah. But, um, I'm having a good day. Like, I thought since my to-do list was mad long this morning that I was going to be stressed. But, I'm actually having a good day. And I went outside and got some sun. I talked to my mama and I talked to my brother. So, this is your sign to go outside and get some sun on your lunch break. Yes. Look, I'm talking to myself. I need to be doing that every day. But, yeah. Right, I'm about to eat and enjoy the rest of my day. It's 2 o'clock now. So, my day is almost coming to an end. Hey, friends. So, I am off work. I ain't LA. Um, I am currently heading to Ulta. I am really excited to shop a bit because... I have not shopped at Ulta literally in months, and that's really unlike me. So I'm excited to go. Um, like I said earlier this morning, I'm looking for the Anastasia um, like tent bomb. I seen it a lot on like on TikTok, of course, and you know, I'll give one thing to influencers, but you influence me, like you did. So I'm gonna go try it out and see if it, you know. Um, matches well my skin. If I don't get that brand specifically, then I'll just, you know, find another brand. Tons of brands have skin tints. Um, I'm also going to pick up some new press-ons. Um, I decided I'm not going to get the um, snail mucinex because, like, I don't need that, like, right this second. I don't need that. Um, let me see. I can't think of anything else I really want. So those might be the two only things I grab. If I do grab anything else, then of course I will share. But um, let's go to Ulta. Okay guys, so we didn't do that much damage, but we did get goods. So they did have the Anastasia, of course, like skin tint stick, but of course they did not have it in my shade. So, And they don't, that um, product doesn't have SPF in it. So, I didn't know that so I kind of like canceled it out because I was just like I prefer my products to just have sunscreen in it since I wear sunscreen every day so it would just make sense so if you remember my vlogs from literally like a year ago when like when I went to Jamaica and stuff I got the um Halo Smashbox skin tint so I just got it again because um the one I have in the house is I literally have it to remember the shade that I have so I can throw it away now uh, but I got a new one in the travel size um, because I only wear it during the summer this shade is in dark I'm gonna get darker and I love my summer tan so um, yeah I really love this product it's super lightweight it has sunscreen in it very good um, I got some makeup wipes these are for I'm literally keeping these for next weekend uh, for when I travel because um, I have a big one in the house I don't like so yeah I got some lashes y'all I am I am completely out of lashes I don't know where the heck my lashes have gone like when I went to DC a few weekends ago I literally brought my individual lashes because when I was packing you know my makeup and stuff I saw I had no lash strips and I was like so <sighs> whatever I got these cute lashes they're really cute. Um, really? <laughs> yeah. 
So yeah, finally re-upped on some lashes. I almost went to the hair store to get lashes, but they had the same damn price. I don't know what's going on with the hair store, but yeah. Okay, but la and lastly, I got some press-ons. I, these are for next weekend. Like, I'm actually gonna pop these off today. I'm sick of the nails, if I'm being quite honest. I'm really bored of them. I'm bored of these nails, cause like one popped off as I was um, parking to get on the train. Like, what the hell? Um, I'm bored of them. So I'm just gonna be like nubby until next week. Um, I'm probably gonna do my nails at my hair appointment um, with Lindsay, so yeah. But yeah, that was my little Ulta haul. I am really happy that I found basically the same skin tint I was using last year, so whatever. Um, a win is a win. But now I'm gonna go home because I'm gonna get out of these clothes and I really just wanna sit down and relax for a bit. I think I am gonna cook tonight. What am I gonna cook tonight? I don't know. I got some spinach in the house that need to be cooked. I got some potatoes that I can, you know, cook up. And I got some chicken thighs I can cook. So I might make some big chicken, spinach, and potatoes. That is if I feel like it. I feel like sitting down and being on TikTok and letting Bob's Burgers watch me. We shall see. But uh, I'll check back in when I'm back in the house and chill and whatnot. Hey friends. So I know last time we spoke, I said I was going to cook. Yeah, that didn't happen. I took a gummy and I've been chilling out since I got home. Which is what I needed. I needed a chill out evening. I just been real tense lately. So, yeah. But I switched my middle part to a side part because I love a good side part on me. With my, with my natural hair. Love it. So, I'm about to wrap up my hair. And then we can do my nighttime, my updated nighttime routine. Um, just wrap up my hair real quick. Alrighty, hair is wrapped up. She is secure. Um, they take me a few times, but y'all already know the drill on that. Yeah. Alright, so let me show y'all my updated nighttime skincare routine. Um, call me a hypocrite. Um, I did change my facial wash. Um, as y'all know, I was a die-hard a Rose Pro Se, um, the clarifying cleanser. But I'll be honest, I feel like my skin got very adaptive, adapted to the cleanser, and I needed something that really was exfoliating and just really getting in my pores and cleaning my skin because I felt like after I washed my face, my skin would still feel like oily or just not fully clean. Um, so I got the Neutrogena the Hydro Boost, uh, well, hyaluronic acid and exfoliating cleanser. Um, let me tell you, I feel them little crystal beads in there and they begin in there and I have really been enjoying this wash. So, you know, I'm just gonna use it until like I used it up. Um, I probably won't say, I mean, I'll probably always have my holy grails and products I really found good, but you won't hear me saying anymore that I'm not gonna not switch up on the product. Cause like, I need my skin to elevate every day, and sometimes I'm rambling. Let's wash my face. Nice wash, cleanse, good, good. So I do put my toner on morning and night. Um, I just started double toning because I want faster results of toning. If I'm being quite honest, uh, yes, I go through the product twice as fast, but my skin thinks me in the morning of how it feels, I will say that. All right, next product I use is another Good Molecules product. Um, it's an overnight exfoliating tr treatment. Yes. Um, they say to use it about like three times a week. Um, this is my third time this week using it. I just use it during the week span. I don't really use it during the weekend. Um, and they say to use it at nighttime. This. I don't know if a, ting a product tingling on your skin means it's working, but it's doing something because let me tell you, it tingles. It definitely tingles, um, but it feels good. My, like I said, my skin feels good. It hasn't like made my skin peel or anything, so like nothing of that extreme. But obviously it's doing whatever the exfoliation needs it to do. You know what I mean? 
I also meant to add this morning and I did not put apply it my the ordinary caffeine solution I do typically put this on in the morning I just saw it in my cabinet I was like I did not put that on this morning but I you know I just literally teardrop teardrop um, to depuff from just the night and like what I look like especially if I didn't run my ice roll over my face that day like that morning I definitely used that um, but I just had to add that in there I'm um, going in with my same CeraVe nightly moisturizer um, I haven't switched up on that now they do say this moisturizer can be a.m. and p.m. but I like the lightweightness um, of my nighttime cream and I think until that runs out then I'll uh, apply the good molecules one but as of right now I'm just planning on going to finish CeraVe because I don't want her to go to waste last step because she's looking good she's looking good last step we just put our lip mask on my same um, from the Jean um, and the flavor berry Okay, we are all set for our nighttime skincare routine. Yes. All right, so now I'm gonna shower because it is definitely 11 p.m. and I was supposed to be in bed like 10:30. Girl's tired, but I was chilling, watching movies and watching TV. Y'all, I randomly wanted to watch Real Housewives of Atlanta, and then I saw a clip. Well, because I saw a clip on TikTok, cracking the hell up. And I told Lindsay that, like, I saw a clip. I was like, yo, what season Phaedra get on there? I'm starting the season Phaedra's on there because Phaedra's hilarious and this show's funny. So I'm going to fall asleep to that because that's my new little fixation probably for this week. Um, I'm going to go ahead and shower, get in the bed. Um, it feels really good to be back in front of a camera, honestly. Like, I miss this. I miss this. Oh, look. Took my nails off. I wasn't playing when I was in the car. These bitches was annoying. I had to take them off. Like, and they all shaped up all ugly too. I don't even give a damn. I don't, I don't care. But like I said, I'm happy to be back in front of the camera. I miss this place, and I hope you guys miss me. Yeah. But alright. Um. As y'all, as y'all know, I'm going to New York next weekend, so that'll probably be the next vlog. Um, uh, my New York trip. It's gonna be fun. Um, I might vlog a little beforehand, um, but if I don't, I'll see you guys in New York. Uh, 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 uh. Later, guys.